Deja, thank you. As part of their mission to eliminate traffic fatalities and serious injuries by 2030, the city of Kansas City will be building additional protected bike lanes near Hickman Mills Drive today. KSHB 41 News reporter Daniela Leone live for us this morning with details on this. Daniela, all part of the city's Vision Zero initiative, which obviously is a big goal that they're hoping to hit. How possible is that with extra additions like this? Hey, yes, good morning, Taylor. Around 9 o'clock or so, the city will be adding an additional 2.4 miles of protected bike lanes all along Hickman Mills Drive, where I'm currently next to. It'll look very similar to the lanes already installed at Gillen Plaza and the ones that you're about to see on your screen. Now, the lanes will include barriers to physically separate cyclists from cars and the sidewalk. The new lanes will be added along Hickman Mills and Prospect from Paseo Boulevard to 85th Street while connecting to the trolley track trail. Now, these lanes are all part of Vision Zero, which is a safety improvement plan put together by the city to make Kansas City streets and roads safer for people. Every life is important on Kansas City streets, and we're doing everything we can to keep people safe when they're on their bike, when they're crossing the street, or even when they're in their cars. And a virtual Vision Zero informational meeting will be happening today at 5 p.m. You can join in on that meeting, but no questions will be taken. And the link to that meeting is posted on our website. Reporting in Kansas City, Missouri, Danielle Leon, KSHB 41 News. So, Daniela, what does the cycling community have to say about these added bike lanes? Obviously not going to be too many cyclers out today with the rain we're experiencing, but what do they say about these, uh, these added lanes? Right. Well, we spoke to them yesterday when it was a little bit drier. We spoke to members of Bike Walk AC. They say they're in favor of these protected bike lanes because not only does it promote ridership within Kansas City, it also keeps them safe. Take a listen. I am a, a bike commuter. I bike about seven miles um, to work uh, when I bike. And um, there's a very clear difference between not having any infrastructure and having something that's protected and separated from, from drivers. So I think that this definitely makes my commute safer and it makes me want to go to more places on my bike. And the city of Kansas City says areas where these protective bike lanes are already at have resulted in a 25% reduction in injury crashes. Taylor. All right, Daniel, only on live for us this morning.